for a number of days. I talked to a local asthma and allergy doctor today who had some tips to share with the community. Poor air quality is nothing to joke around about. Grand Junction experienced 64 days of elevated pollution this summer, causing health issues for many on the western slope. While it may look like fog, thousands of dirty pollutants make up the layers of the atmosphere. But where is most of it coming from? The burning of fossil fuels, so um, with the gasoline combustion engines uh, in transportation, uh, that is our biggest source of um, uh, pollution from uh, our automobiles. Vehicles release exhaust and other pollutants into the air, exposing our hearts, lungs, and brains to dangerous chemicals. I think we were probably seeing 20% uh, or so more cases of folks coming in with uh, more acute uh, respiratory symptoms uh, that I would have attributed to the air quality. Transportation isn't the only concern for people experiencing symptoms. Allergies also worsen people's immune systems. And so this year, weed pollen season and the poor air quality overlapped almost perfectly, which really made, un unfortunately, a perfect storm for folks that had those allergies and were susceptible to the pollution. If you begin to experience coughing or wheezing, don't try to diagnose it yourself. Health officials recommend setting up an appointment with your primary care doctor to further assess the situation. If you're having symptoms, if you're a patient out there who's having symptoms from the air quality and you think that you're having uh, possible asthma or other uh, uh, pulmonary or chest symptoms, then I'd recommend uh, talking.